Hello everyone, I'm Bad Pan, a band who loves dancing at 3 a.m. Welcome to part one of our three part mini series where we recreate a food making mechanic just like in First of Adam using Unity. In this episode, we'll set up the UI and get those colliders working like a charm. This idea was actually suggested by our awesome friend Steak69. I hope I read your name right. Huge thanks to you and wishing you all the best wherever you are. This video is part of two series on this channel, one covering you the tips and tricks, and another focused on recreating gameplay features from the game First of Adam. I made my own retro horror game inspired by that vibe if you're into horror stories and creepy pixel art you can check out fractured psyche links in the description below all right enough talk without that being said let's put on the mask and begin so what i have right here is a recipe to make some food my recipe is not as complicated as the one in first to fathom mine is just simple eggs i downloaded some models this egg thing that we have inside a pan to you know complete eggs that we you know take and we put it here and when we put it here by default is deactivated and when we put it here it gets activated we have pepper and salt once your model is you know downloaded and everything is set up you gotta go ahead and create that thing that appears on top of the screen when you want to add some ingredients on it creating that is actually very easy very simple we're gonna right click here we're gonna create a ui canvas but this time go to your canvas settings go to your canvas settings select your canvas go to this inspector tab go to this render mode under canvas tab and put it on world space so right now our canvas is not rendered on top of our screen and it is actually in the world space around us and to put it on top of you know this frying pan you can just press f and find it and you know scale it down little by little and go to it but i have one you know simple idea make your canvas a child of your pan or any object you want the canvas to be rendering on and once it is a child of that you just go to its transform and put it at zero 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 and you see it is now a child of the frying pan and what you gotta do is just you know select it scale it down until it is you know as small as the frying pan you know so you see this thing around as you see when i put it up it is where uh, our objects can get rendered so for example if i add a text here as you see there's a text i just created the canvas for it uh, i wanted to look this way so I just I can just you know rotate it I just turn this one 90 degrees so it is now looking this way and I you know put it a little bit forward like here I think it is rotated that way it is looking this way I think so to make it look this way you just go here and just say plus 90 I just move it a little bit forward I want it to be like this I move it a little bit up and you just gotta place it wherever you want and I want to press T I hold alt and I scale it like this we need to create a checkbox here to check if uh, when we have something as you saw in the reference video so I'm just gonna go to my canvas go to UI and add a toggle here as you see a toggle is like this so now my, my canvas was not looking that way so just minus 180 so it rotates this way now it is looking this way so as you see this is my toggle it is very small I'm just gonna make it bigger you can just make it bigger like this and i go to my toggle settings go to label and i'm gonna rename it to let me just make it white so you guys can actually see it change the text to bold you just make it white make it like 15 or any amount you want just i'm gonna make it bold so it is more readable and yeah that is it i want to you know change this check mark you can go to it and change your texture of it i'm gonna put it make it give it a circle like here and make it green so we know that we have it you can you know change thing you can just scale down so it is more like this i'm gonna rename it to eggs and uh, i want to have two eggs so when i press one it's gonna say for example let me just show you it's gonna say eggs and then with zero out of two i'm just gonna put it at center center and since I have three stuff, I'm just gonna move it like 150. And the next thing I'm gonna add is gonna be exactly at the center. And the next thing I'm gonna add will be at minus 150. So the distance is like the same and it is more beautiful. The next thing I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna duplicate this. You can duplicate by control D or right click and duplicate. I'm just gonna put it exactly as I said at the center center, which is like zero, zero, zero. And I'm gonna rename it to salt. And it's gonna be like, go to label, just write salt as you see this you know x thing is kind of blurry to fix that instead of you know scaling it like this you know i'm just gonna go to the scale tab and put it at one so it is as small as it is and just press t and make it bigger but this way you know making it bigger this way will you know stop your things from looking bl blurry stop your text from looking blurry and yeah go to your label tab this time i'm just gonna put it at like 50 
as you see this one is way better than this one because i didn't scale it with this actual scale thing i'm gonna scale this a little bit down and go to your background and make this one also bigger so it doesn't you know looks uh, look all weird and stuff and scale this one and you know maybe make this one a little bit smaller and select your text i'm gonna put it at you know like down here so it is more like this you gotta change it until you feel good about it and i'm gonna delete salt and i'm just gonna duplicate this again so right click duplicate i'm gonna call it salt and salt will be at zero from the y position you can change it right here and i'm gonna go to this label tab and i'm just gonna call it salt the next thing we're gonna add is the pepper so we can just go to our salt duplicate it this time i'm gonna hold control and press d i'm just gonna call it pepper and i'm gonna put it at minus 150 and again i'm gonna go to this label tab and i'm just gonna call it pepper you can just you know go to your canvas again and make it smaller to make it you feel better if you want go here you can you know give it like tilted a little to so it actually looks better so as you see you have this x here and you can see and you can check or you can deactivate we have eggs here we have some salt and pepper and you know our frying pan yeah that is it for this video let me just do one last thing before the next video let's just give them colliders so we don't have to do it in the next video uh, let's select our frying pan inspector tab click on this add components add this box collider to it as you see a box collider has been added and we can just make it bigger just click on this and select one of these dots and put it up I'm gonna make it you know big so we can interact with it instead of you know giving each of these ones you know different box colliders and stuff i'm just gonna select one i'm just gonna add a 3d cube to one of them and i'm just gonna put it a little bit up and i'm gonna deactivate this mesh render so i can just see this one i'm gonna press t and i'm gonna scale it on this way just deactivate the mesh render and yeah this is it just unparent this cube so it is no longer a child of this egg just call it i'm just gonna call it egg pack and i'm gonna select these two and i'm gonna make them a child of this egg pack so when i deactivate it it gets deactivated but for the salt and pepper since the, uh, these two are different objects i'm just gonna give uh, each one a different box collider so this box collider just make it bigger i'm gonna do the exactly the same thing for this salt Now each of one of our objects has a collider that we can interact that we're going to create in the next part. So that was part one on how to make food like first to fire in Unity. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, the like would be amazing. You can subscribe to see more contests like this. A huge thank you to our friend for this recommendation. You can tell me any opinions, any scenarios, anything you want in the comment section below. Uh, I would be very happy to answer it. And if I can, I would cover it. Thank you so much for all your support. Hope all the best for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.